Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to teach you about the difference between layer mask and uh, clipping mask in Photoshop. So they basically do the same thing in that uh, they hide or show a part of the layer uh, that it's applied to, but uh, they are a bit different. I mean, you can uh, use just one to do anything you want, but it's uh, easier to do some things with one or the other. So I'll show you the difference right now. Uh, I'll drag a photo in the Photoshop from my other monitor so you didn't actually see where I'm dragging it from but it's there now so I'm going to fill this up uh, real quick and uh, let's say that I wanted to write something uh, I wanted to write a text here uh, that text should be filled with this layer and uh, everything else should be hidden so um, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to create a text layer like this and I'm going to write it uh, let's say let's uh, write earth like this and uh, let's change the font to something a big um, bigger uh, like maybe maybe this this works nicely and uh, we are going to uh, just to show you how it works and, and now if you want uh, everything else to be hidden in the background to be white and the earth to be uh, filled with the background that it, it you just pull it down and then you click on the layer that is to be clipped and uh, the layer below it will be uh, doing the masking and the layer above it will be clipped so you'll right click it, it and create clipping mask and then you can see that uh, earth hair is uh, basically just uh, showing uh, uh, I mean the pixels that are available in the layer below it is what's available on the top. So uh, how uh, clipping, uh, clipping mask work is by hiding uh, the part of uh, the layer uh, that the layer below uh, does not have in such a way that if earth had uh, maybe another layer here, maybe an eye, it would uh, show uh, that too in the layer above it so this is uh, clipping mask is better to work when you have a live uh, layer working below it so that you can just change it on the fly so let's say that if I wanted to change it and keep the background same I can just write it here moon and it will still have the same background uh, now we could have done this easily uh, with uh, a layer mask in such a way that we would have to uh, select uh, you can't really see it so yeah so uh, uh, we'd have to select uh, the pixels of this layer and then make uh, select the layer that we are supposed to make visible uh, then we were to uh, then we would like create a mask to it and uh, there we go that's how but we can't we cannot uh, edit it live so if we're, you were supposed to like uh, Sorry, uh, if you were supposed to maybe add an eye to the end of this, uh, it's all now it's wrong. It's not what you would have thought. So, I mean, again, you can like just um, delete it and do the same thing over again. But, uh, you know, it's it's like a two or three extra clicks that you would have done in just one click. So that's how we create a clipping mask instead of a layer mask that way and uh, they are similar in a way that uh, if this is the layer that I want and I want like uh, it to have a gradient look or something so I can create, I can't really create it, so I'll rasterize it first and if I want it to have a gradient look so that maybe the upper portion is uh, fully uh, transparent and the lower portion is fully opaque and it's slowly uh, going from transparent to op opacity so we'll just draw it like this and Oh, no, 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 I'm very sorry, you have to create a layer first and uh, then just draw it like this and uh, you can see that this is what it does and if we we can uh, do the same thing uh, with a layer uh, like this, first we have to delete this and we can do the same thing uh, to uh, uh, a layer like this with the same results but using a clipping mask and how we'll do that is by not drawing uh, from uh, white to black and uh, gray for 50% opacity but we would uh, go from uh, the opacity of the layer below it uh, from 0 to 100 and in that way that we can actually use uh, we can create a new layer here and then we would actually fill it 
uh, with any color you want it doesn't matter if it's black it's red it, it actually doesn't matter you know you can you can uh, fill it with uh, anything and uh, you know the layer below it now we can actually uh, go here and create a mask to this one and uh, we can just go and uh, make it transparent like this and uh, see it's transparent and now if we were to go and select create clipping mask it would be the same thing uh, but with a different mask so this is not the ideal situation of how you would make a gradient transparency to a layer by using clipping mask but you can do it if you want it's uh, interchangeable but it's not the ideal situation the ideal situation would be for a typography or if you are drawing a shape uh, beneath it that you want to be filled with an image that's above it uh, thank you for watching and hopefully i'll continue to give uh, more tutorials in the future for photoshop uh, and also subscribe and like and all those kind of things that you do